So, children, after returning to Myanmar, Solar Impulse had two stages in China. The second was for several weeks, because poor weather conditions meant the plane could not fly across the Pacific on the scheduled date. Do you know that for each leg, a ground team is also already in place waiting for Solar Impulse and its pilots? It's a group of about 40 people who all help from takeoff to landing. Effectively, a huge tent that is almost 300 feet long and weighs three tons. It is made up of 12 connectable elements and protects our very fragile plane. It's erected and dismantled at every stage and inflated by enormous fans. It needs at least four hours to be put up. Experts, huh? I can put my turn up in 20 seconds. Unterrible. This hangar has been designed to be resistant to water and fire and also able to withstand winds of up to 60 miles an hour. But the sun's rays can pass through its lining, enabling the batteries to recharge. Once landed, the plane is given a complete checkover. The engines, solar panels, and electronic circuits, as well as looking for leaks. Then it's parked under the canopy until the next takeoff, when a team on foot, on bike, and in cars will help. Yeah, even if it is just to keep it balanced. Exactly. Then, once airborne, the pilots are assisted by the Monaco Control Center, the famous MCC. When flying, the MCC tracks the pilot in real time from Monaco. It plans the routes, then double checks them and amends them continually to maximize the safety of the plane and allow it to source the maximum amount of energy. It's a kind of co-pilot, but a long distance one. So they could have asked the pilot to make an emergency landing, for example? Of course. In that case, the MCC chooses the best airport based on air currents at the time and requests permission to land there. It also organizes the emergency deployment of the ground team. But this can't be any fun for the pilot. They make no decisions at all. No, wait a minute. In Monaco, there are meteorologists, technical engineers, air traffic controllers, and mathematicians who are working continually during the flights. But final decisions are made by the pilot in the plane, the pilot on the ground, and the MCC. What? You have to be good at math to fly a solar power plane? Oh, well, this isn't for me then. You don't have to be a top mathematician to be a part of a team. There's also the maintenance team, medics, designers of all kinds, and journalists. What matters is that everyone does their utmost, because we must not forget that this round-the-world journey is a joint effort. It would never have happened without the skills and expertise of everyone involved.